Today, let's look at Chapter 4 of Pagano's Understanding Statistics. In this uh, chapter, we're going to look at two central themes, central tendency and variability. How do we measure these things? Let's start off with a little, uh, little review quiz. Make sure you remember what we covered last time. Here we've got a picture of something, and I've got three questions. First of all, is this a frequency distribution table? Yes or no. Secondly, is this a bar chart? Yes or no. And thirdly, is this a histogram? Yes or no. Well, what do you think? Well, is it a frequency distribution? Well, it's a frequency uh, 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 distribution, but is it a frequency distribution table? No, it's not a table. It's a, a graph or a chart. You can use either one of those. So it's a frequency distribution graph or a, a frequency get, uh, distribution uh, uh, chart. It's not a table. A table would just be a list of numbers uh, set up with a, a few horizontal lines mainly. Now, is it a bar chart? Yes, it is a bar chart. There are bars and there are gaps between the bars because these are nominal categories. They talk about which are the different majors. There's no specific order for them. And is this a histogram? No, this is not a histogram. In the histogram, there's no gaps between the distribution, and there's an order typically going from the smallest to the largest, going left to right, uh, indicating the uh, what the different bars represent. So it's a bar chart, but not a frequency distribution table or a histogram. Now, in terms of measures of central tendency, this means we want to measure the middle of our distribution, the middle of our pile of numbers. The most common is the mean, the average, and this illustrates some of the notation that we use in statistics. First of all, we use x bar, and that means the average of x. And then the way that we calculate it is that we take all the x's, and add them together. And the i here is like the counter going saying, for, saying that it's uh, um, going from the first x all, all the way up to the ith x, which is our, our last x. And so we add up all the x's and then divide them by the n. And so that's, you probably knew how to do that before. Now you know how to do it with the, the summation notation. You just add up all the numbers and divide by the number of uh, uh, raw scores that you have. Now let's look at how we could uh, do this. How would we actually go about calculating this? So let's take the example of how often do students who are named after places in France, who happen to sit around to eat talking about how much food they've eaten, how often do they have frozen burritos for lunch on the average? Well, we happen to have some data on this. The five girls that we've met uh, previously, who are Lorraine, Brittany, Rochelle, Pri, and Paris, we have some data on uh, what they did uh, last week, and we can make an estimate uh, based on uh, their, their data from last week on uh, how, how many do they usually have. So last week, or the, well, this, this week's data here, we had Lorraine had one burrito, Brittany had two, Rochelle had three, Brie had four, and Paris had five burritos. Now to calculate the average, we want to calculate the sum of the x's. So if I go, whoops, let me go into Excel here. Now, I, now I'm into, uh, now I'm in Excel. And if I want to uh, uh, calculate the sum of the x's, I can use my command equals sum. And I'm going to open parentheses. And I'm going to go from D4 Lorraine's score, and then I'm going to do two dots to D8, Paris, and we get that box around all of the scores, and that will give us the sum of the, all those scores, the sum of the X's. Now, N is the number of uh, data points we have, the number of participants. Now, I could just count them, but we also have an Excel command for this, and that's the count command. So I'm going to enter an Excel command equals, and we're going to use count, and we're going to go from D4 
down to D8, so that's two dots, D8, close parentheses, and that'll count everything in that range. And that way, if I were to add scores to it, they would uh, get added into the count there. And now I want to calculate the average, and so I've written uh, X bar equals the sum of X divided by N, and so that's going to be equal to, I want to have uh, D10, D10 divided by D11, and so I can click on that, and then I press Enter, and it'll give us an average of 3. It's 3.00, that's why we have uh, 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 no decimals showing. But we to show that's exactly 3.30, I could go select that cell, go to Home, choose General, and choose Number, and that shows that, yes, it is exactly 3.00. So that, uh, that's how we can calculate the mean uh, in, in Excel. Now, something interesting is that if we want to predict the mean of a population of all, uh, all burrito, burrito eating girls of, with the names of, of France, the way that we can do it is we can do it from a, a sample. And the notation for the mean of the population, we use the Greek letter mu. We tend to use Greek letters for the population mean. And if we have X bar being the mean of the sample, it turns out that our best estim estimation of the mean of a population is X bar. Now, is it gonna be exactly X bar? No, it's not here. In our sample, X bar was 3.00. We had a sample of five burrito eating, eating girls. But if we were to, to measure all burrito eating girls in the world, it would probably be different than 3.00 uh, exactly as we had gotten. But the best estimate that we can have with our sample is X bar. So our best estimate of mu is X bar.